So, Dr. Tanya, what should I do if my child wakes up in the morning with a runny nose and a sore throat but has no fever? And thank you so much for your question. So, if not connected to seasonal allergies, please keep your child home for at least that day and monitor the symptoms. Should the symptoms resolve by the end of the day and child is active, you can send them back to school on the next day. Should fever appear or symptoms progress, please consult your doctor. So how can I tell when it's just a cold or if it's a COVID infection? Are there any specific symptoms of COVID at early stages? Unfortunately, it's very difficult to say from the very beginning whether it's a common cold or a COVID infection because COVID infection, especially among kids, may have symptoms similar just to regular cold like runny nose, scratchy throat and low-grade fever. So what can we do to protect our children and families? Have you got any tips that you could share with us? The main recommendations would be follow regular hygienic practices like we do at school, avoid crowded places and unknown people, plan your meetings outside when possible and keep distance with those who are not your household members and who are not in your bubble. Eat balanced food and get enough rest. Supplements, vitamins can also be taken if recommended by your doctor. Update your vaccinations for yourself and your child, especially before influenza season is coming. What should I do if someone in my household is suspected or has been confirmed to have COVID-19? Keep a child home. If a close household member has developed fever, consider testing for this family member and wait until the test is ready. The affected family member should be isolating from the rest of the family as much as possible, in a separate room when possible, taking meals by themselves, using a separate bathroom if one is available. If your household member tested positive, you and your children are considered to be the primary or first level contact. That means that you should self-isolate for 14 days from the onset of symptoms in your household member. If we are sent for quarantine for 7 or 14 days, could we at least go for a short walk in our neighbourhood? Self-isolation or quarantine at home means that you should stay at home. You are not supposed to go out meeting your friends, visiting malls or restaurants or going to any extracurricular activities. And, and can you tell us a bit more about the PCR test? If my child has a test and it is negative, can they come back to school? PCR test is the most reliable test at the moment. If you are a first level contact and are self-isolated, consider doing the test only if you develop symptoms. Otherwise, you stay on your 14-day quarantine and test is not mandatory. Should you still want to be tested, please plan doing so not earlier than eight days after contact with a confirmed COVID case. Please also remember that negative test does not shorten your quarantine period. Thank you, Anne, and let's protect our community together.